U.S. laser carrier versus hypersonic missiles, the ultimate showdown. There are only two weapons that can kill the world, and one country can decide whether to use them. The weapons in question are lasers and hypersonic rockets. The U.S. and China. These two world powers have been threatening each other for a long time. Now that the U.S. has finally responded to China's constant threats, they may strike. China's threats, or what look like threats, are almost too many to count, but there has been a rise in them in the last few years. In August 2020, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Rocket Force shot several ballistic missiles into the northern part of the South China Sea from mainland China. The intention was to mimic an attack on a ship. People perceive this drill as just one of many intended to convey a message to the U.S. A U.S. Air Force C-135S Cobra Ball spy plane went to the Red Sea and may have had a good view of these launches. Reports say that China fired a number of DF-21D and much larger DF-26B ballistic missiles. The DF-21D a medium-range ballistic missile has a range of 600 to 90 miles, while the DF-26B, an intermediate-range ballistic missile, has a range of 1,800 to 3,500 miles. This range is sufficient to strike American ships at sea, leaving them vulnerable to retaliatory attacks. And these ballistic weapons will be very important if the U.S. steps in to help Taiwan when China keeps its promise to invade the island nation and take it back under its control. On the water, the United States is a very strong force. It has by far the biggest ships in the world, especially aircraft carriers. The U.S. Navy has more than twice as much deck room as all the other countries put together, and they own a quarter of the world's aircraft carriers. China might not need to send out a single carrier to fight such a force on the water. Instead, it could use its ballistic missiles to damage the American ships. DF-21D is already known as the carrier killer in Chinese media, even though it is not as strong as the DF-26. Both missiles reportedly carry bombs that can travel faster than sound and turn quickly to evade air defense systems as they approach their target at sea. It's likely that the only way to stop these weapons doesn't exist yet. That needs to change in the United States right away. It is very important for its control over the seas. That's where the Meteor Project comes in. The goal of the U.S. Navy's Meteor Project is to make a new kind of weapon that can defend against China's threats at sea. A high-power microwave-directed energy weapon, or HPM weapon, is what this new weapon will be. An HPM weapon sends out short bursts of microwave energy that can damage or interfere with the electronics in a target system. A tool like this has big advantages over almost everything else. One of the best things about an HPM weapon is that it can produce effects that get progressively stronger, even stronger than other directed energy weapons, like laser weapons. That is to say, depending on the situation, a single HPM weapon could have varying effects, such as more destructive effects or more subtle jamming-like functions. With the HPM weapon, sailors can make hits that are easier to control than with kinetic weapons. 
Some HPM systems can also send out a wider beam, which makes them better than laser beams at quickly hitting multiple objects. They are better at fighting drone groups because they only need a short amount of time to engage targets. When it gets strong enough, this new weapon could be the Navy's best way to fight China's powerful missiles. Since an HPM's beams move at the speed of light, it's very hard for China's rockets to avoid or get around them. Their own smoke would cover them before they could figure out where the heat was coming from. An HPM weapon has a deep clip that can hold a lot of rounds, just like other directed energy weapons. Unlike other kinetic weapons, HPM guns don't require physical reloading with ammunition. As long as they are plugged into a power source, they should be able to keep shooting. The low cost per shot is another great thing. This alone changes the game. Since low cost attacking weapons have become more popular in recent years, people all over the world are looking for even cheaper ways to defend themselves against them. Right now, the U.S. has to fight drones that cost a few thousand dollars with missiles that cost a million dollars. This is unfair, and it's even worse on the water, where ships have very few defense missiles and can't easily get more until they sail back to base, which could be thousands of miles away. The fight in the Red Sea between the U.S. Navy and Houthi troops most recently demonstrated this. The Houthis have been firing anti-ship cruise missiles, Kamikaze drones from the air, and unmanned surface and underwater vehicles and vessels loaded with explosives at U.S. troops. In response, the U.S. has had to use much more expensive defense missiles. Chinese hypersonic missiles are very dangerous, and cheap attacking weapons can come from anywhere in the world. This is where the new HPM weapon could really help the U.S. Navy. It would not only shoot down threats coming at it, but it would also save its kinetic air defense rockets from bigger, more dangerous threats. Because of these things, and maybe even more, the U.S. Navy really wants to make and use an HPM weapon. In the fiscal year 2025, the service asked for more than $9 million for the Meteor program. In the fiscal year 2024, when the program was still called Red Cat, they asked for $13.5 million. The project's name has been changed for unknown reasons but the goal has not changed. The Navy must, however, make do with the next best thing until their goal of a directed energy weapon that works is reached. Missiles that fly. If you want to attack or defend, ballistic weapons are the eighth wonder of the world. The United States has a big arsenal of them because it is one of the best countries in the world at making them. The U.S. has a lot of ballistic weapons, but the U.S. Navy has one that stands out. It's called SM-6. The SM-6, or Standard Missile 6, is a multi-role missile that can be used against aircraft as a terminal ballistic missile defense system or to attack ships. It hits its targets in the sky with a blast fragmentation warhead. He knows how to use all sorts of tools and is good at many things. U.S. Navy Vice Am. John Hill, who is in charge of the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, says that the SM-6 is the only weapon the country has right now that can shoot down hypersonic threats that are very agile. There are several things that make the SM-6 a unique weapon. 
First, it takes the SM3 series solid rocket booster and dual thrust rocket motors and puts them together with the SM2 series body and the seeker and nose cone of a more advanced medium range air to air missile. In the standard missile family, this missile is different from others because it has three different parts. One example is that it is the only missile in its family to have an active seeker for terminal guidance. This trait comes from the advanced medium range air to air missile. The active seeker on the rocket lets it hit targets that are beyond the radars on ship's power output and the elliptical shape of the Earth's surface. The SM-6 is an important part of the Navy's integrated fire control counter-air system because it can intercept over the horizon. The SM-6 can fight battles from farther away than any other air defense interceptor. This was shown in 2016 when it was linked to other sensors through networks that let it do things like cooperative combat. During the test, an SM-6 claimed the longest ever ranged battle against air targets in U.S. Navy history. The SM-6 is a 1.6-ton missile with a 140-pound blast fragmentation warhead that goes off using a radar and contact fuse device. The missile can reach heights of more than 110,000 feet going into space and hitting speeds up to match 3.5 faster than the SR-71, which was the world's fastest jet that breathed air. An SM-6 can hit targets up to 230 miles away with great accuracy, thanks to its inertial tracking and terminal active and semi-active radar homing. It's easy to see why the Meteor HPM weapon probably won't replace the SM-6 in service. Instead, it will likely be used in addition to it. Both the SM-6 rocket and the Meteor HPM weapon are very powerful. Not at all, both of them have holes that need to be filled. They could, however, fill these gaps for each other. The U.S. Navy and its ships would be safe from any weapons that were thrown at them, no matter how expensive, fast, big, maneuverable, or anything else they were. These two weapons can be used together to make a defensive and offensive suite. Because of this, the U.S. Navy wants you to like this video and follow this channel. Now do that, and thanks for watching.